Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send text messages from your browser. First thing, you have to make sure that you have the Android Messages app installed on your phone. Now, remember, this one is for Android devices only. So I'll go ahead and open Google Play Store and then I'll go ahead and search for Android messages. So here I'll tap Android messages. And since I have already installed the app, I can just go ahead and tap open. Now, once you tap and open, you will see that I have here the text messages that I have received on this device. What I need to do to activate the option so I can send text messages out of my browser is to tap on the three dotted lines at the top right and then choose messages for web. All right. So from here, you will see that I am prompted or there is an instruction to go to messages.android.com on my computer. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So that's messages.android.com. Okay. Just go ahead and move this over. So from here, what I need to do now is to scan the QR code. I'll go ahead and tap on scan QR code from my phone. And all right, so that's it. I am now connected. Now, there is an option for you to choose so that you won't have to do this all the time you would like to send a text message out of your browser or if you log out and turn off your computer you just have to go to messages at android.com and as long as your android device is connected through the same network as your computer then you will be able to send text message from here so right now i'll just go ahead and click on ok so that this phone will be remembered and it will be paired automatically. And then there are also a couple of settings that you can tweak for your preferences. So here I currently have the dark theme enabled so you can just use that one if you prefer the light theme. But for me, I'll go ahead and choose dark theme. The good thing with this feature is that you can use this on multiple devices. However, you will only be able to use one instance of this Android messages. So if you have this open on one of your computer and then you open it again on another computer, you will be prompted to choose if you're going to use Android messages on that specific device. So here I'm making use of Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and try out if we can turn it on using Firefox. Scan the QR code. And again, there you go. I can still access here. I can still access my text messages from Firefox. Okay, and if you will also see that if I tap on that one, if I go to messages for web, you will see which computers I am signed in and I can sign out out of and I can sign out of the three or I can just choose to delete one so say for example I can sign out from that computer 
and I can just retain or keep myself signed in on these two other computers. Okay, so that is how you can use Android Messages for Web. And if you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comments. I would definitely appreciate if you will let me know what topics you would like me to cover. And at the same time, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to click on subscribe. Again, my name is Floranda and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.